What's going on, buddy? My name is Zella Prince, and welcome back to yet another reaction. Now, today I got another Russian Badger video for you guys, but if you can tell by the title, it's one of his more older videos that I've been wanting to watch for a long time. And it's this Doom Eternal video that he made back in 2020 when, the, when Doom Eternal first launched. And I refrained from watching it because I was going to do my own Let's Play on Doom Eternal. So I waited a long time to react to this. And now that I finished playing a Doom Eternal back in October of 2022, I'm now finally here watching this. After, what, seven months? <laughs> seven months since I, since I recorded Doom Eternal? I, I kind of just forgot about it for a little while because I've been watching more Russian Badgers video, older videos, the ones I've already seen. In the, in the last couple weeks or so. And then it's like, wait, how, I haven't reacted to do, his Doom Eternal video yet. So here we are. So with that being said, guys, we're just going to get right into this. Before I do, please like, comment, and subscribe on my channel to see what I post next. Because I got some things coming out that are probably going to blow your guys' mind in the future. So keep in mind for that. And with that being said, guys, let's get right into today's reaction video in 3, 2, 1. One, go. Doom Eternal can't be that much more intense than Doom 2016. Like, you can only slay demons so hard. Why do I hear music? The music. Where is this coming from? I forgot. I think I turned off the music when I when I put did my let's play. Or turned it down, rather. <laughs> God, the it was fun to play. <laughs> yeah, the music does not simmer at all in Doom. Tonight at 11. Doom! Welcome to Doom Eternal, bitch! The game that's everything you the? want, and more. And more, and more, and more. I did not expect any of his more. video oh, yeah, friends we'll to be here. Doom 2016, boom! Yeah, didn't think so, my man. This is not a sponsored video, first off. Much like the Rage 2 video, Bethesda was like, we'll give you early access if you make one of your dumbass videos, to which my reply was, sign me the fuck up! So even though they gave me an awesome signed poster and a neato Doomslayer action figure, I've received absolutely no money, signed no contract, not even an NDA. We pay for free up in this bit. I was allowed to play for three hours, record for one hour, and I have distilled everything that I experienced into this one video to feast your eyes, or I wow. Oh God, so this was before the game came out. Number one, playing Doom Eternal put me in a trance. Like I was so engaged in the action, the world around me ceased to exist, and it took a dev touching me for me to snap out of it. Whoa, hey, take it easy, Badger. That demon had a family. I know. They're next. But beyond the endless <laughs> violence that you should already expect, the main theme I want you to keep in your head bricks. Doom Eternal bricks? is all about building a Doom Slayer from the ground up, which much like a house, is done brick by brick. Oh. Nobody beats the brick! At the beginning of the play session, it was I hope I get some neato guns so I can win this war. Then by the end of the play session, it was I am the war! And the story of that transformation is the story of this video. So let's start building the Slayer one brick at a time. The Slayer has arrived. All mortal challenged personnel please be advised. The combat shotgun <laughs> is square one, which is beyond self-explanatory to even the newest Doom Slayer. Did you mean my right hand? Once you've blasted away your first few waves, then come the mods going the direction of either grenade launcher It's not a grenade launcher, it's a sticky box. Shut up! Or a full auto shotty, and although you can swap to either... I was not a fan of the full auto shotgun. It just didn't sit right with me in the slightest, which is why I always use the grenade launcher. If you guys want to go check out my Doom Eternal Let's Play, there's gonna be a card somewhere in this video well actually no it should be at the very beginning of this video uh i'm saying that to remind myself later when i upload this video so <laughs> just just ignore that but i did do my let's play and it was right before i had surgery back in october so if you guys want to go check that out there's a playlist on the fly you can guess which one i prefer hey. 
just like that, all my shells are gone. Which isn't a big reason deal, why by I didn't way, like because it. that's what the chainsaw is for. Welcome to hell, where the demons are just pinatas ready to burst open with bullets. You mean living, breathing ammo box? Rack another shell and nail another headshot, because headshots lead to staggers, and staggers lead to glory kills. Divide by two. No matter if it's a weak spot or a headshot, doing enough damage to a demon will stagger him with blinking blue or orange indicators just begging for a conclusion. Oh, I'll take that. Weapons, modding those weapons, refilling those weapons, properly using those weapons. Are you with me? I'm sure yes. you are. Those bricks, rocks. I will say this. Doom Eternal provided much more of a challenge than regular Doom did from 2016. The gameplay was much more Hispanic and there was much more going around with weapons and such. That's how it felt to me. So don't hate me for me saying that. So now that you've modded your guns, let's mod you. Starting with Blood Punch. Just two glory kills now lands you a mighty Falcon Punch that disintegrates anything still standing. You see it? And it's gone. But what is strength without swiftness, which is where Double Dash comes in. Whether it's navigating levels, getting into trouble, getting out of trouble, or dodging lava, it's the quickest way to make there here. Get the fuck over there. And alley. Yup. Falcon Punch, Falcon Kick, cool shit. But the real changes come with runes. And to satisfy all you sticklers out there that want every drop of info. Faster glory kills, farther glory kills, glory kill speed boost, mid air juice, longer <laughs> staggers become literally too angry to die, slow motion, faster oh, I didn't know about that one punch drops health. Of these nine that I saw on the menu, only three were able to be equipped at once, and I only got far enough to unlock one. Chrono Strike. Hell yeah! I have the power of God! Right clicking while in midair shoves you into a slow motion state, and it could not have come at a better time, because I just picked up a brand new heavy cannon with two baller mods that made for the perfect test. Precision bolts. I did not on. honestly Jet. read the room, I just threw whatever I wanted on. Gone. Ben Wallace goes up. <laughs> The mini missiles, ooh, baby. <laughs> you see what I'm saying now. Weapon <laughs> mods are cool, suit mods are neat, but runes? That shit pours gasoline onto an already raging fire. No other upgrade comes close. Now, slaying enough demons will not only grant you. I honestly didn't mess around with the runes that much. I should have. It probably would have helped me out throughout the game. Weapon mods, but also weapon points, which you can spend on upgrading mods, like reload time and blast rate on the nade launcher and upgrading all upgrades lands you mastery like being able to launch five nades before reloading yes you can upgrade your upgrades with an upgrade in case a shotgun grenade launcher just wasn't enough man you ever upgrade your upgrades and then you're like damn i better upgrade the last upgrade for me was the third and final weapon tossed into my hands the plasma rifle which i wasn't a huge fan of because it felt less visceral than conventional guns and a little too easy mode, but you know, it had its moments. I am gonna burn this man with a chicken nugget. <laughs> I feel like we're making it was progress very powerful. Here. Bricks are starting to fall into place. Modding your aggression, modding your movement, mods of time, all the way to mods of mods. You're building the shape of this layer to suit your playstyle. But even more critical than the firepower itself is when and how you use it. Enter the demons. Mike was asking you looking caco demon. Perfect example. You you can spend 15 <laughs> seconds lobbing random shit at this guy, or you can blast one grenade in his mouth and make sure there's never gonna be a monster zing too. He shoots. Yeah, it, it, Doom Eternal made them a lot easier to fight as well. Like in the first Doom, Doom Eternal, Doom 2016, they were harder to fight, but in Doom Eternal, they were much easier to kill. He scores. And just at least for, like at least from my, my gameplay experience with it. Arachnotrons are scary too, but if you've got the brains to destroy its cannon first to cut off its range, it's only a few stickies away from being not so scary. Get me more pictures of Spider-Man! <laughs> Revenant, aka Dude Demon, same story. Much like a plane when both of its engines are gone, he's definitely going down. Yeah. X crispy and dude. You get it now. Right weapon, right part, right time, recipe for destruction. No matter how big or bad the demon may be. Come on, buddy. You don't have a <laughs> 
<laughs> Except for Hell Knights. I have no idea what the fuck to do with those guys apart from Yeah, those guys are insanely powerful. Wait until he turns orange. My raffle knife goes slice. Not all of your obstacles are living and breathing, though. In typical Doom fashion, you're also solving puzzles like punching giant chains in a submission and playing the floor as lava. I'm sure if the lava was alive, the Doom Slayer would kill it. And you've got a middle ground between <laughs> those two, with obstacles that were once living that are now not. But that's nothing a power core and some disemboweling can't fix. Yeah, so then you're gonna go straight through his intestines, hang a right, while power cores let you burst <laughs> through obstacles. I forgot about that. Batteries let it's you been a while since I've played Doom Eternal, so I forgot up. about that. Access Neato areas in your home away from hell. This hub most importantly holds your mission teleporter to continue your genocidal crusade. And Vega. But it also introduces Praetor suit points that can make you a little tougher, a little faster, a little deadlier. Not nearly as dank as runes. Still useful though. Also found new abilities in the ship, like the ice bomb that I always forget to use, and above all else, the Ripatorium. Not a lie, not a meme. It is literally a demon prison where you can practice fighting monsters without dying or losing it inventory while blasting BFG division. It's called Oh, I didn't Rivetor. even know about that now, and I played the game. I was more focused on the storyline than checking out the at the location. Breaks? Really starting to add up. You know the weapons at your disposal, who you'll be using them against, where is best to hit them, navigating the obstacles between them, and where you can hone your demon slaying craft by abusing prisoners. With all these bricks starting to solidify, I finally understood what the creative director Hugo Martin was talking about when he first spoke to us before we even started playing. At the beginning of the playtest, my style was ham fisted, random, and crude, but by paying attention and building each small improvement to my slayer, I was able to transform that style into something deliberate, methodical, and although still endlessly chaotic, efficient. It felt like going from banging my fists on a piano to finally putting my fingers on the right keys to produce something that resembled music. <laughs> a little butthurt, a little bottom befuddled, a little posterior pulverized that my playtest ended just as I was getting in this rhythm, but I did capture some cinematics of the story before I left, which I'll summarize as Don't do this shit, man. It ain't worth it. If you continue, you will bring down the heaven's wrath. Saving your people will not bring you peace. Only make the burden you carry. Worse. And although the Doom Slayer doesn't respond verbally, actions speak louder than words. They really do. I mean, take take Soundwave, for example, from Transformers Prime. He never only spoke once throughout the entire show. And that was at the end of the show. His vow of silence. Like Doom Guy. Or rather, Doom Slayer. about it. That is the best that I can squeeze out of one hour of gameplay. Shout out to Sean over at Bethesda for hooking up the early access. Hugo Martin for tech support. That's right. The creative director came over and helped me with my game when it wasn't loading in correctly for like 20 minutes. It was hilarious. So man, <laughs> Hugo Martin Real ass gamer, all right? Real ass gamer. He's not some executive up in his ivory tower. Look at all the responsibility that I have. He is a genuine class act. It's software and Bethesda, all these signatures on this thing really mean a lot to me. I've never gotten one of these before, so I appreciate you giving me my very first poster. And I have <laughs> no idea what I'm gonna do with this. I imagine it's indestructible, so I might just use it as a doorstop. And with that being said, I'd like to thank you so very much for watching. I really appreciate you watching all the way to the end of the video. Doom comes out on March 20th, 2020, so you're gonna have to wait. Congratulations to Potato God for getting an A-plus on his project where he interviewed me, and be sure to tune in next time when we argue if anger is a reliable source of energy. <laughs> okay, really quickly, I'm just gonna look up something really quick for Doom Eternal. I'll be right back in just a second. Okay, so I meant to look this up initially after I was done recording Doom Eternal back in literally October 4th, the day before I had surgery. But because surgery was right around the corner, I completely forgot to look this up. Doom Eternal does indeed have a DLC, two DLC storylines to be in fact. Um, I'm going to be putting up a community post when this video goes live. Asking you guys if you guys want me to continue Doom Eternal and play those let's plays. Those, uh, not those let's plays, those DLCs. So, when this video it goes up, when it should be right about now, 
there should be a community post in the community section of my channel that you guys can go vote on if you guys want me to continue Doom Eternal. So with that being said, guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's reaction video. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.